It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry about that loud entrance. I hope no one heard that. Okay. Well, congratulations. You are being rescued. Yes, I'm here to rescue you. Oh, I'm sorry. My manners, of course. You don't know me yet. I am Andrew. Yes. Nice to meet you. I was sent here by Dumbledore. Yes, I have a, I have a letter with me. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Uh huh. Yeah, he explains a bit uh, his concern about you not answering or you know giving no sign of life. What's been going on in here? So that's why you had bars on your window. They are keeping you locked in here? In your bedroom? That's absurd. That's... Well, don't worry. I'm getting you out of here tonight. Yes, tonight. Oh, don't worry, you have a place to stay. I'm going to take you to the Leaky Cauldron. Yes, and then you can spend the night in there. But first, we need to pack your stuff. Yeah, I, I, where is your trunk? Over here? Okay, wait. Okay. Let me open it. It's empty. It's completely empty. Wait, you didn't really think that you were going to spend the whole year in here? That you would not go to Hogwarts? Of course, of course not. Dumbledore wouldn't allow that to happen. That's why he sent me. Okay, so uh, inside the letter, please take and give me the list of materials. Yes, for your school year. Here we go, here we go, okay, so this is the list of your Hogwarts materials, yes, everything you're going to need for another year at Hogwarts, and I believe some of these things you already have, yes, so let's just collect the things and Oh, it's a bit difficult for me to read, but yeah, I think, I think it says uniform, you're going to need three sets of plain work robes, black, okay, so you have your work robes, you do, where are they, over there, okay, uh-huh, let me just bring them here. Akio work robes. Okay. Uh, so we just need to make sure they are well folded. Fine. I'm going to put this on your trunk. Okay, so next item on the list is, see here, one pair of protective gloves. Protective gloves, do you have those with you? What happened to them? Oh, I see. So, no gloves anywhere? Well, you are going to have to buy a few things on Diagon Alley because uh, some of the things on this list 
uh, for your new uh, school year, so some new books and a few new equipments. Well, I do have to go to Diagon Alley, so this would be a good opportunity for, for me to just grab these things for you. Yes. Once we get to the Leaky Cauldron, in the morning, I'll go to Diagon Alley, find the things you don't have, and you just come and meet me there, and we'll go to, to the Hogwarts Express, okay? Yes, so uh, I'm just going to mark in here that you need a new pair of protective clothes. And let's see, the next item is... One plain pointed hat. You have a hat. Yes. Okay. So give it to me. Okay. And we're going to put that on the trunk as well. Okay. And uh, one winter cloak. One winter cloak. You have a winter cloak. Okay. Give it to me. And, okay, let's put it in here as well, and, okay, now, from the book list, the book list, there's a few things which you already have, okay, so, let's see here, on the book list, you probably already have a history of magic, by Batilda Backshot, and you probably have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them from Newt's Commander. So you have those two. Uh, where do you keep your books? Locked? Is everything locked in this house? <laughs> okay, so in the, the wardrobe? Okay. Let's take them. Okay, so is it that cupboard? Okay, aloha mora. And let's act you the history of magic. Okay, one book is here. Did you take good care of your books? They seem a bit dusty. <sighs> oh yes, of course you you were not able to read any of these. Oh my god, the situation in which you were all summer. Well, all of that is about to end and everything is going to get much, much better. Yes. Finally, you're going to have some magic on your life again. It must be a torture to have to stay such a long time with these muggles and not being able to do anything magical. Okay, so this first book goes in here. Good. And now I'm going to take... What was it again? Fantastical... Fantastic Beasts. Okay. Accio Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> it was flying a bit. <laughs> Funny book. Okay, so it goes into the trunk as well. And... Now, let's take a look on the last things in here. Equipments, uh, you need a wand. You have a wand, don't you? You have one? Okay, so... You don't need to put your wand in the trunk. No, no. Because you are going to need it as soon as we leave the house. Yes, you're going to see why. I have a surprise for you. So, now, you see one telescope. Do you have the telescope? 
Okay, so Accio Telescope. Okay, let's put it carefully in here. One cauldron. They what? They they threw your cauldron in the trash. <sighs> okay, no problem. I'll buy the, the cauldron as well. Put it in here. One cauldron. Pewter standard size. Okay. One set of crystal files. You have the files? You do? Where are they? Okay. Accio crystal files. Okay. Very careful with these ones. And what else? One set of brass scales. Do you have those? No? Okay. I will also get the set of brass scales. Brass scales. Uh huh. Now, the last item in here is uh, that you need, you can or can not, I don't know, bring an owl, a cat, or a toad. Do you have any of those with you? There she is. What a beautiful owl. She's also locked. My god, these smuggles. Wait. Hello, Mora. Come here, beautiful. Come here. Wow. It's a very beautiful owl you have. Very, very beautiful. Okay. So she's coming with us. All right. So I think we have everything. Yes, right. So uh, now we need to kind of <laughs> sneak out. We need to be very quiet because I'm not sure if there's still someone downstairs or if they maybe came back home. But it seems very quiet. I'm going to unlock the door, okay? Hello, Humora. And you come with me, okay? Through the kitchen. I'll check the living room. Okay, it seems, it seems like we are alone. Okay, so let's go outside and I have a surprise for you. Have you ever traveled by bus? Oh, no, 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 I don't mean the, the normal Mago bus transport. I mean the night bus, of course. No? Well, you are in for a treat. <laughs> Come on, let's go.
So, you don't want the muggles to see us. <sighs> so, we're going to have a little walk. Yeah, just walk a bit away from your house to make sure that no neighbors see us. Um, but it's, it's a lovely evening, it's such a beautiful night, so it's just going to be a nice evening walk. Yeah, a lovely night, lovely night. Oh no, oh. Ah. I spoke too soon. <sighs> Bad luck. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Don't worry, I know a spell. Take your wand, yeah. I was right, you were going to need it. So, point it out like this and say, Noli te pluvio. Noli te pluvio. That's right, you see? Now I have a little magical umbrella. Actually, it's even more magical like this, don't you think? A little walk on the rain. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's have a little walk. So, did you have fun this summer? A silly question. Probably not. <laughs> okay. But September 1st. September 1st. Probably my favorite day of the entire year. Well, at least it was. Oh no, I don't study in Hogwarts anymore. I finished my studies there since a few years now. I miss it every day. I miss it dearly, but yeah, need to move on, right? But Dumbledore knows how much I've been missing. Though I think he gave me this mission to bring you there. Especially because of that as well. And also because he trusts me. And he wants to see you safe. Uh, oh yes, I'm going to take you all the way to Hogwarts. We're going to go to the Leaky Cauldron. Then to King's Cross. Platform. Nine and three quarters. And then we're going to take the train and go to Hogwarts. Yes. So it's kind of a, an amazing opportunity for me to see Hogwarts again. Yes. Uh, believe me, I am as excited as you are to go back. Yes. Okay, so. Are you ready? I have something for you. This is your ticket for the night bus. It's a one passenger for a single journey. Yes. Uh, every passenger is required to have a ticket to be produced or given up on the mount. Yes. Yeah, so you take yours and be careful not to lose it. Okay. Then I have another one for me okay so yeah are you prepared it's not your usual bus ride i am warning you it's quite the experience but i think you'll like it okay so should we call the bus oh yes we need to call it using our wands and all we have to do is point our arm up towards the street Yes, so the right arm, do it with me, like this, like if you're calling a cap. And there we go. So, come on, let's get inside, get your ticket. Okay, <laughs> see what I mean? You better hold on to something. You better hold on. Yeah. 
Hey, can you go a bit slower, Ernie? Okay, thank you. I, I guess. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Yeah, if I can take it. Okay. Here it is. It's a small gift, but take a look. Yeah. It's a little platform, nine and three quarters. Gonna put it on you. It's okay if you don't. It was kind of silly, but I thought because of the the occasion, you know, September first, taking the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, it suits. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, it shouldn't take long now. The night bus might be a bit bumpy, and yeah, it can make you a bit dizzy, but it gets you where you need to go very, very quickly. Yeah, it gets you from here to there, or from there to here. Depends on your ticket, if it's golden, silver. I got the best tickets for us, yes. So we should be getting there to the Leaky Cauldron very soon. Oh, I forgot. Annie, Annie, we're going to the Leaky Cauldron. Leaky Cauldron, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> If we didn't tell him, who knows where we would end up. <sighs> okay, once we get there, I'm going to talk to Tom, the innkeeper, and ask him for a room for you, okay? So, just try to hang on in there for a bit, okay? How are you doing there? Fine, okay. I think we're almost there. Yeah, it's going... Oh wait, it's going to do that thing. It's going to feel weird. But don't worry, just... need to be nervous. It's like this, the first time. Uh, I think maybe this is more dizzy for me than using the flu network. Have you traveled using flu network? No? Oh my god, you, well, we're going to have to do that tomorrow. Yes, so, <laughs> yeah, be ready, be ready, but, you know, you're doing well, you're doing great, you really do do really, really well. Don't worry. Okay. It's stopping. And... You're here. Okay. Let's go out, then.
It's really, really, really dark. Lumos. Okay. Well, just follow me. It's in the end of the street over here. Okay, so let's go in. Knox. Finally, a bit of coziness. Yes. Let's not talk too loud. Everyone else must be sleeping already. Tom probably is up because he stays up until very late. Oh. Come on, come here. You stay in here, okay? Shh. Stay here. I am going to talk to Tom, okay? With Tom, yes. Get you a room and do you want something? Anything? Maybe hot chocolate? Okay. Just wait there. got you a room. It's room number seven. Yes. And we got you hot chocolate. Yes, it's really hot. And the funny thing is, I think Tom noticed the little gift I've gave you. And he gave it to you, your hot chocolate, on this mug. Uh, so very funny, very funny of him. But yeah, here you go. Be careful. It's it's really hot. Take it. Great. Okay. So the plan is. You go to sleep, I go to sleep, I wake up early in the morning, go buy your things on diagonally, you wake up a bit later, don't worry, it has to be before 11 though, you cannot get late at the platform, otherwise the Hogwarts Express will leave without us, so around 10, 10 is good. Yes, so you wake up about 10 and you come meet me at the, the passage, yes, right after the, the brick wall, okay, and I'll have everything ready for you. Sounds good? Okay, so, what? Ah, you think you're going to have difficulties to sleep? Oh, it's all very exciting and, yeah, I can understand. And tomorrow, big day, right? Really big day. Going back to Hogwarts, seeing your friends after such a long time, not speaking to them. You, I didn't think about that. You didn't have the chance to write to them, right? Yes. They kept your owl in that cage. You know, I, I knew that you were not answering Dumbledore's messages, but I didn't think, didn't, didn't think about that, about your friends. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. I have a few things I know, a few tricks, 
Yes. Yes, it's it's called I I call them sleeping spells. Or spells for sleeping. I don't know. Any of that. And I can I can do them on you. It's perfectly safe, yes. Perfectly safe. And wow. basically they will make you feel very relaxed, very calm. You're gonna try to clean your mind from all of these thoughts and anxieties and then you're going to, to go to bed. Just you know. Uh so should I? Should I do them? Should I? Okay. So I will. 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 Yes, it's a combination of magic and a bit of guided uh, meditation, I would say. Have you ever meditated? Meditated. Meditated. Meditate. 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 Uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to start and speak more and more soft and might even feel this sort of tingly sensation going down your neck or tingling in your head and all of that all of that is part of the magic for you to sleep okay so i'm going to do a bit of magic on this side here you feel good and relaxed it's not strange okay let me try something else now
close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. You want to close your eyes, close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. Close your Now, 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 you are feeling your eyes getting very, very tired. Very tired. You want to close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. You want to close your eyes, close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. You want to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Sleep well. Sleep well.